Hey, this is 6M5C VEX Robotics. This is a tutorial on the building basics of VEX EDR Robotics. If you are wondering, the EDR isn't an acronym for anything, it's just a name for this specific division of the VEX Robotics competition. First of all, before you build, you're going to need to brainstorm and design what you're going to make. Be sure to look at the game and consider the rules in the game manual. The link to this year's manual is in the description of this video. The manual is a great resource to see what you can and can do in the competition as well as the materials you will use and how you can use them. If you have any questions, consult the VEX forms which will also be in the description below. This 2018-2019 game is called Turning Point and it deals with these caps and balls right here. Take them Take into consideration that you will need to fit within an 18 by 18 by 18 inch space. This is especially important because you cannot pass inspection without it. And I've even seen them once checked for it in the middle of a competition, which got a few teams temporarily disqualified for a few rounds until they fixed it. Just try to be on the safe side with it, but from experience, sometimes it's easier said than done to keep it within the 18 without sacrificing performance. The, the dimensions are a bit different for VEXU or the University Division of VEX Robotics. Once a match begins, you can expand. However, there are limits on to that, which is largely based on the game-specific rules. For example, in last year's game, In the Zone, there was no limit on vertical expansion. However, this game with Turning Point, there's a special zone where you can expand vertically to place caps, but you cannot go above the 18 when outside it. There's a 36-inch horizontal expansion limit, but still consult the game manual for a clear description if you need it. Also, take into account that you have a 12 motor limit with the 393 motors in the older Cortex, while a 8 motor limit with the new smart motors and the V5 brain. The V5 motors are supposedly 2 or 2.5 times stronger than the regular 393 motors. Subtract 2 from each number if you are going to use pneumatics, which are these right here, and you basically power them with air. One important thing to know about in robotics is the concept of torque. The equation torque equals force times distance, which means that the greater the distance a force is applied to the point of rotation, the more torque or rotational power it will have. But you will be going a farther distance, so there will be less rotational speed. This knowledge can be used when designing the robot or even when tightening a screw. The most important and basic part of a robot is the drive. The drive chassis is the structure that consists of the drive. The two main types of drives are a tank drive and a holomonic drive. <clears throat> a tank drive is the most common drive, which is just two parallel sets of wheels. This is a generally good option to go for for new teams. A holomonic drive is any drive that can move in any direction without rotating. Basically, they have more advanced movement and are more move maneuverable across the field. The H drive is a tank drive, but it has one wheel in the middle so it can go side to side, and that one wheel is perpendicular to the other wheels. Another holomonic drive is the X drive, shown right here, which each wheel is on the corner and it's diagonal to the to the main body at 45 degrees and this allows it to go in all directions and it can rotate like that. The X drive is slightly faster in certain directions than the tank drive but is also less powerful so take this into consideration when choosing a drive. A good explanation for or from or Robotics will be in the description below. After coming up with a design, just go ahead and build. Have fun with it. The more you build, the better you'll get at it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe or comment below if you have anything to add. And tune in the next time for a video about metal.